Hello all. Uh, this video I'm going to talk about uh, using a uh, preloader tool um, in Arch Linux. It's called E4RAT and there's different versions. Uh, the, the latest one I've tried is called E4RAT-Lite and you get that through Yaowart, uh which is the extra repository for uh, getting um, unofficially supported packages I guess. Uh, you can look through the documentation on how you can add that to your um, Pac-Man config file. So we'll get that. Um, this is uh, Arch Linux running um, obviously GNOME Shell 3.8. So we'll open the terminal. We'll type in Yao Art. Let me zoom in. And just uh, type E4 rat should be fine. It should come up with the one I'm looking for. And it's the second one, the JIT file. E4 dash light dash JIT. So you type in the number two. And uh, it will ask you if you want to edit. I usually select no because I know this is safe. You can if you want. And you continue building. It'll ask you for your password. Okay, once it's installed, uh, we can edit the e4rat-lite config file. So, I already took a look at that, so I'll just uh, arrow up. And so, it's net, uh, sudo nano if you want, and then that, uh, slash etsy, and then e4rat-lite.conf. So, enter, and we'll uh, scroll down. Or just arrow down. There we go. It says timeout in, the, in seconds. So you can change that. Delete. If you want to, you don't have to. So it's now four minutes it's going to collect data. So we we'll press Control X to save and type Y to, for, to save it, to write to the file, and we're done. Okay, so the next part is we have to add. Um, something to the boot menu when we uh, the uh, Linux menu when we start and that is uh, e4 rat no sorry not it doesn't start with that it's in it equals s bin I don't know why I didn't put that in the nose I should have anyway it's a uh, in it equals s bin slash e4 rat dash light dash collect so I'll close this. We'll do a reboot. Power off. Restart. And press E once the uh, boot screen comes up. And arrow key down to Linux here. Let's zoom in again. Where it says Linux and press END end on your keyboard. And just before quiet we'll put that in. So it's uh, in it equals slash s bin slash e4 rat dash l i t e light dash collect c o l l e t c and to continue booting with that command just press the uh, control and x and hopefully I type that in right it'll come up and say yeah it says it'll stop collecting after 240 seconds, two minutes. Okay, so we have lots of time in the virtual machine. So I'm going to open a terminal and type in the top. I'll give us an idea how long we've been running. And you can see there, where did it go? E4 rat light is running, and we've been up for zero minutes. So you just open as many programs that you use Firefox. Um, Hopefully I won't crash the machine. <laughs> so you get the idea. So um, once this is done, um, I'll be back and uh, we'll move on from there. All right. So to make sure, um, I just let it run for an extra minute. And so we'll just press Q to end that program top. That should be in by default. Um, so the next thing we have to do is, uh, dis is actually we should go... No, it'll work. We should. Uh, we have to reallocate. Uh, so we'll uh, have to issue a pseudo system 
CTL. Now you don't have to do this if you're using uh, you're not using a login manager. I'm using GDM, so I have to disable it, not remove it, just disable it. So disable GDM. And if you're using KDM or Slim, you know you get the idea. Just disable the service. Okay, so we just exit, and now we we'll restart the computer, the virtual machine, and we have to log in as our root. Okay, so we're at the root terminal, and root, and your root password, and you can give it some time to um, do its thing. So we have to um, issue that some more commands. Um, so it's e for rat dash light a space. I'm sorry, and then another uh, dash reallocate re al o c by the um, actually realloc, and then a space slash v a r slash lib slash e for rat oh, for rat dash light. Okay, and then uh, start up dot log. There. So it's parsing files and say how much is fragmented before or after best case scenario. So you can, you can just make sure you let it run. Don't restart or anything. It's not frozen. It's just collecting the stuff that you opened and, and your boot up process. So as you can see, it's uh, finished. Uh, it's a reallocation. So while we're here, make sure you enable, re-enable your login manager. It doesn't have to be sudo since we're root. So it's system, system, ctl, enable, gdm. There we go. And we just type reboot. Uh, no, that's not how you spell reboot. So we're at the, uh, back on the desktop. And we have to edit the grub file. As you can see here, so um, open a terminal. Now let's let's do this in super user. So you pr just type su and then your root password, and uh, you can use gedit or nano. Doesn't matter. I'll use gedit. So slash etc slash default slash grub. Whoops, <laughs> wrong one. Sorry. There it is. And under where it says uh, grub command line Linux default equals, and it has quiet here, we have to add in this init equals slash US bot, US, USR slash SBIN, and then E4 rat dash light slash preload, then we update the config file. So init equals slash usr slash sbin keyboard's getting away on me today again slash let me put a space there and then uh, e4 rat dash lite uh, dash preload press control s to save it and press control q to quit and there he is. And now we do a grub dash mk config, just like you do when you install Arch Linux to update your grub. So grub dash mkconfig uh, dash o slash boot slash boot slash grub slash grub dot cfg. Make sure that's right. exit out of your root and exit out of the terminal and another reboot and we should see uh, e4 rat light uh, loading those files that should come up and say that and you can see that they're preloading okay so here we are and 
Firefox. Not bad in a virtual machine. You'll notice the difference. You should notice the difference on your uh, main machine. System monitor, that came up pretty quick. Um, Chrome, I don't know. Wow, that's really fast. So you can see that even in a virtual machine, it, you can make a difference using it. So it's a E4 Rat Lite um, for Arch Linux. And if you want to give it a try, uh, please let me know if it works. Uh, beware, some Arch Linux updates might kill this. So I would suggest removing it completely and then uh, reinstalling it and redoing this again, just in case, okay? And actually you might want to, you can do this every once in a while if you add a ton more applications. Um, you can always uh, go through those steps again. Okay, so that's it for this one. Any questions or comments, feel free to add them. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.